Hi guys, I hope you're well. It's Chris here again. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a colour or a series of colours in an image in a non-destructive way. So typically when people do a replace colour on an image, they use the replace colour tool, which is to use the adjustments menu, go to replace colour, choose the colour you want to select, and then the one that you want to replace it with. Now the problem with this is that it's destructive. If you change the image data, you can't get it back unless you have a backup of the original image. Now, there's a way around that and a much more effective method and it's really good because you can go back and change the colour of the image multiple times without affecting or degrading the original image quality. So the first thing I do always is I duplicate the original layer. Now I'm not even going to be touching any of these layers directly, so this isn't really necessary, I just do that as a precautionary step just in case. So I've got an image here that's a series of colourful houses in a street and I want to change, let's just say, this, this kind of baby blue colour here. So what I do is, firstly I make a selection of the area where the colour exists. Now this is important because there might be other instances of similar colours to this blue in the image. One being maybe the sky here isn't exactly the same blue but there might be some blues in the sky that it picks up when we do this technique. And then maybe somewhere down here there's a little bluish grey in that house there. So once we've made a selection, we're going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. And you can name this whatever you want, but I'm just going to leave it as the default for now. Now, you're probably not new to the Hue and Saturation tool in general, but there's a little trick here that I think works really well that you might not be familiar with. So you're going to click this icon here that's a little finger. You're then going to select the colour that you want to replace. In this case, it's this baby blue again. And then I'm going to select a colour that I want to replace the baby blue with. So you can see that this is happening instantaneously. I don't have to go in and, you know, like mask around things. I don't have to get into the nitty gritty here. This is really simple. So I'm just going to select a colour that I want to replace it with. Let's just say this kind of vibrant purpley pink colour. So that's how easy the technique is. I mean, that's, that's literally it. However, the, the benefit of this is that I haven't touched the original image. The original image is here, completely untouched. And if I choose to change that colour in the future, I just double click the icon to the left here, this little half circle, and I can play around with these colours as much as I want. Now, we can repeat that process. So if we wanted to change the, the red of this house, for example, do the same thing again, highlight the selection, Go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. Take your little hand or your finger. Choose the red or whatever colour you want to replace. And then simply move the dials here. And you can instantly change the colour in an image. Now as you can see, the curtains are still a bit red. And if I don't want them to be red, I can just do the same thing as before. New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. And I can even take the colour out completely if I want. So a lot of these other curtains in the image are kind of grey, so I can take the saturation away, or turn it right down rather, and that's it. So there you have it. A lot of people say that you can't do replace colour without affecting the original image, but I disagree and there you go.